Hello there, this is Jimmy, the Fontmeister, and today we're going to talk about importing artwork into Type Tool. Now, the first thing we need to do is get some vocabulary straight. The main problem that our customers seem to have is understanding the difference between a bitmap and a vector. So what I've done here is I've drawn a circle using the vector tools in Type Tool, and I want to show you how vectors are lines which are drawn algebraically from point A to point B to point C and they are manipulated with these handles called Bezier curve handles. So you see how this is all being done algebraically by computations. All right now let's take a look at Photoshop. In Photoshop what you do is you get a bitmap drawing tool and you draw with pixels. So you see there's a difference between pixels and vectors. Now where the problem comes in is some of our customers in Photoshop go to the file menu, they go to save that file, and they happen to notice that there is an option for an EPS. So they assume that that means that somehow these pixels will be magically transformed into vectors. In reality, this is a bitmap file with an EPS wrapper around it and it has a bitmap preview. So it's not a vector file. The bottom line to stress the point is that you cannot import Photoshop EPS files into Type Tool. So let's talk about another option. What you could have done with your bitmap is brought it into a vector editing product such as Illustrator or Freehand. Or you could have used our scan font product to uh, scan the bitmap and at the same time you could have traced it and inserted it into a font uh, using Type Tool or Font Lab Studio in conjunction with scan font. But let's take a look at a few issues here in Illustrator. You can see in Illustrator that I've drawn a vector circle. Now what I've done is I've placed a bounding box around it. You see when the characters are brought into a font of course you want them to all look like they're the same height and scaled uniformly. So in order to make sure that that happens, you should make a bounding box. Uh, the size of this box would depend on the largest character you have, say the Q or the W or whatever your largest character is. And every character should use that same bounding box. You'll also see that I've put a baseline here. Since this is a rounded character, and has some overshoot. And uh, what I would do is to use the same bounding box and hash mark baseline for all my characters to make sure that they come in uniformly. Now I'd like to take a break from it here and mention that some users have created the entire alphabet on one pasteboard uh, in Illustrator and then they want to bring all of that in at, at the same time into uh, a font editor. Now. That might work and it might not. It depends on some of the uh, complexity of the paths that you're using in your characters. Um, say, for instance, you had a logo and it, it had maybe it had too many points. So, bottom line is it's not a great idea to bring the entire pasteboard into one slot in a font editor. Better to do them one at a time, and I'm going to show you how easy it is. So, if you're a, an advanced user, you probably have no problem using the clipboard. So what I would do is do select all, and then I would just copy, and then I would go into type tool, and just use edit paste. Now notice how easy that was. But some people are not comfortable with the clipboard, so let's see what we can do for them. Another reason you might want to not use a clipboard is if you're a uh, designer who draws an illustrator, but then you're going to give the artwork to somebody who understands how to create fonts, and so you're going to email them to them or whatever. So in that case, you could do uh, File, Save As, and choose Illustrator EPS. Now I want you to notice something here when you hit save. 
you're going to see there's a lot of different uh, Illustrator formats. Now, after Illustrator 8, Adobe changed the EPS format to uh, be more compatible with the PDF files. So what we're going to suggest is that you use an Illustrator 8 EPS file. So you choose Illustrator 8, hit OK. And now you go over to Type Tool, open up a slot, use Import, EPS, and you've got the same thing as the guy who used the clipboard. Now you're going to notice there's a few problems you need to work on. But uh, the first thing I want to say is that the reason this worked out so well is because I went to previously, went to the tools menu, options, and chose the general options, EPS, bitmap background. I chose to have EPS files fit between the A sender and the base sender. You can uh, experiment with these different settings and there's a lot of information in the type tool manual about how to prepare your artwork and your settings in Illustrator before bringing them into type tool. You see here that we need to get rid of the bounding box and also need to move our character down to the baseline. So once you remove the hash mark and the bounding box and fix your width of your character everything should be okay. That really is about all you need to know to get started on bringing artwork uh, as an EPS file or in vector format into Type Tool. There's a lot of good details in the Type Tool manual so check those out for further information and as always let us know if there's other topics you'd like to see covered in this tutorial series.